short message uh, in the whatsapp group that i coach people uh, we have been going through a series called the laws of creation essentially the laws of creation is meant to be uh, they are meant to be laws that god uh, initiated when he created the world these laws are so embedded in creation that it takes a quite a bit of study to begin to unearth them today as i was studying for today's uh, teaching within the group i came across this law uh, this law of separation this law of separation is woven into the laws of creation and you can see this law play itself out in different verses in that first chapter of the bible in genesis chapter 1 verse 4 genesis chapter 1 verse 6 verse 6 to 8 uh, verses to 10 sorry genesis chapter 1 verses 4 verse 14 genesis chapter 1 verse 17 to 18 when you look at the whole theme of genesis chapter 1 verse 4 to 18 therefore you see a key thread there which is called the laws of creation this thread is was repetitive in that but in that in those verses and it's quite important for us to pay attention to the what do, what does that mean for us or, you know the, the laws of separation or what i call the creative laws of separation at creation what does it mean for us for example in genesis chapter 1 verse 4 god separated light from darkness in genesis chapter 6 to 7 god separated the waters above from the waters below and then god separated the waters under the heavens and the dry land in verse 9 to 10 and in verse 14 and verse 17 and 18 god separated day and night by creating the stars so what happened here is really even if you look in genesis chapter 1 even verse 26 to 31 when god made human god declared everything that he has created to be good but god placed man separated the man from all of creation by declaring man to be you know the one that he gave dominion to now that's quite important so when we think about god god's creative uh, work in creation we look at god bringing harmony into chaos and this is very important this is good because god brought light into darkness light dispels darkness the earth was formless and void and, and, and without any shape and god brought order to that so essentially god brought that to god brought order to the chaotic state of the world then god brought light into darkness and god began to create which is very important but something also much more fundamental is the fact that every single thing that god created has a purpose think about that light has its purpose darkness has its purpose water above and water below they each one of those they got their own purposes right now but if you operate outside of your purpose what do you think is going to happen you will not be fulfilled you will not be fulfilled so what is important for us is to know that god has called each one of us as you are listening to this message god has called you for a definite purpose on earth a definite purpose on earth you know Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says we are god's workmanship recreated unto good works we recreated in christ jesus unto good works that we will do those things that god preordained that we should walk in them so there's a specific destiny that god has ordained for you are you walking in them are you following them the law of separation basically says everything is separated for its own purpose everything in nature everything in the world is created and separated for its own unique purpose now let's talk about it think about this in the time in the, in the life of the children of israel the children of israel were uh, a, a group of people that God separated so that the so, so that salvation through Jesus Christ can come through them you know so they were separated from the rest of the world as it were then in the New Testament we see that believers are called royal priesthood who were separated unto God from the rest of the world so you can see that this pattern of separation is per- permitted itself consistently through scripture and why is because God started that law of separation in the beginning if you think about the stories and the parables of Jesus, he talks about wheats and weeds. He talks about, you know, um, light from darkness. He talks about goats and sheep. He basically, he's talking about this separation, separation, separation. And that is quite important. Essentially, it means that in the eyes of God, there will always be a separation. A separation from what? Light, darkness, good and bad, evil, goodness. It permits everything that we see in creation. But the ultimate aim of God is to bring what? Is to bring purpose to your life. So what this law therefore means is that you have a unique purpose. 
you are not a failure. There's an utmost goal in your mind that must be to find and to fulfill the purpose that God has for you. Now, as you go out today, I want you to know that you have been called for a definite purpose. This is an exercise that I want you to do that will help you to begin to unearth how to make this law of separation work for you. Take a moment, maybe in the night when everybody's asleep, you know, calm yourself down, taking some breathing exercise to calm your nerves down. Sit down, close your eyes and ask the question simply and say, what have I been called to do? What have I been separated to do? What is my unique purpose? Just ask that question. Get a pen and paper ready. As you ask the question, be expectant that God is going to answer you. As you become expectant, the words will bubble forth to you. Or the images will start to float in your mind's eye. Write down whatever you need or whatever you see or whatever you hear. Write them down. Now, you could also do some exercises from, from friends that know you say to, to let you know the things that you love to do, the things that is unique about you. There's everyone on the face of the earth, there's every unique purpose, everything that you know, there's some things that you know how to do that others don't know how to do. So I want you to give this exercise a try and make it work for you. The laws of creation that the laws that God has created to bring order into the universe. And everything that God has created has a unique purpose. You have a unique purpose. And I have a unique purpose. My prayer for you really is this. That you will find, fulfill the purpose that God has for you. The purpose that God created for you before he formed the world. You know, our Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 17 in verse 4. This is what he says. He says, I have glorified you on earth by completing the assignment you gave me to do. So Jesus Christ himself knew he had a purpose when he came to earth. And the only way he glorified God is by fulfilling that purpose. If you want to know how you want to glorify, how to glorify God, you find your purpose. You fulfill that purpose. You follow that purpose. And then you're glorifying God. Praise God forevermore. Alright, until next time, remember, you are blessed and highly favored.